So we're gonna start something new on the channel called Bike Fishing Fridays. And every Friday I'm gonna release a video that is related to fly fishing or bike fishing. So I know a lot of you have subscribed mostly because of the biking content, but I do want to include some of my other passions. But I totally understand if you're not into those things, uh, then don't watch those videos. But if you're curious about some of the other things I'm passionate about, then definitely tune in on Fridays. So with all that said, I'm going to jump into the fly fishing tools that I always carry with me uh, on the river when I go fishing. Think of it as kind of your everyday carry, but for fly fishing. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration about traveling with your bike, gravel riding, bike touring, and bike fishing, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video on how to choose a rod and a line in bicycling terms. In this video, I'm gonna dig in a little deeper and talk about some of the other smaller tools uh, that I always carry out there on the water. Starting out with the first tool, and that is the hemostat. You wanna think of the hemostat as kind of the multi-tool of fly fishing. It does everything from crushing barbs, cutting tippet, to uh, pulling the hooks out of a fish's mouth, to even making sly adjustments to fly on the stream. I've used several hemostats in the past, and these are my two current favorite ones. Uh, one is by the brand William Joseph. It's bright orange. It's got a nice rubberized grip. In the latest addition to my tackle bag are these interesting hemostats by the brand Loon. And what sets these apart is that they've actually got a built-in carabiner. So if you're new to fly fishing, usually the way that most people carry hemostat is they use uh, the jaws themselves and clip it onto a shirt or uh, a strap on their body or on their waiter. But over time, the uh, gripping force actually will relax on a pair of forceps, or sometimes it'll just kind of pop open. So it's nice to have this option by Loon where you can use a carabiner instead. So quickly after the hemostat, I think my second most used tool is the nipper. And I've used everything from just nail clippers to kind of cheaper uh, fly shop branded uh, nippers to a Sims nipper and now this Loon nipper, uh, which not only cuts tippet uh, nice and smoothly, but can also open beverages on the river. Yes, it's got an integrated bottle opener, finally. Other things I'll carry on the river are a couple spools of tippet. And uh, what tippet is, is as you clip your leader and add flies, it, it gets shorter and shorter. And the tippet material is uh, what you use to tie on to the end to kind of lengthen the life of your leader. On the river, I usually carry 3X, 4X, and 5X. And this generally covers all my bases. I use the 5X uh, when I'm Tenkara fishing and three and four uh, for Western fly fishing. Another essential, especially if you do a lot of trout fishing and love to fish dries, is some floatant and a floatant holder. Again, I like this stuff by Loon. I swear they're not paying me. I just tend to gravitate towards Loon products. So this is their Aquel, uh, which you just kind of put a little bit on a dry fly and it'll keep it from going under. And to hold it, I just use a really inexpensive plastic uh, dispenser, which clips on upside down onto my fishing bag. So let's talk fishing bags for a moment. Uh, they're just as varied as bicycle bags, if you can believe it. There are backpacks, there are sling packs, there are chest packs. I've used any number of fishing bags, almost as many as bike bags. Uh, my current favorite is the chest pack. Recently, I got a new uh, chest pack uh, from Fish Pond. This is their San Juan vertical chest pack. It's still fairly minimal, but it has a little bit more room for larger fly boxes. And last but not least, you're gonna need flies and those flies are gonna have to live somewhere in a fly box. I've used a couple style fly boxes uh, in the last couple years. Uh, my current favorite is the boxes by Tacky. What sets the tacky boxes apart is instead of using foam, which will crumble and kind of degrade over time, they use a self-healing silicone. Uh, so what you do is you take the hook of the fly and you actually slip it into the slits. Uh, the silicone heals itself over the uh, hooks and holds it really tightly. Another nice touch with the tacky boxes is they've got magnetic closure, so there's no uh, clasp to break. So that's it for my uh, list of current tools. I'm gonna put all the links to all these products in the description below. Uh, for those of you that fish out there, did I leave anything out? Is there any must have that you guys take on the river that I didn't mention in this video? Let me know, uh, leave those in the comments below. And if you like this video, found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.